Tooniverse Games sent me Tiny Ninjas, so let's get it to the table. As you can see, this is a small box game that can be played solo or with two players. You'll be facing off with each other using cards to deal damage to lower your opponent's health to zero. You both start with 10 health, and this dial will keep track of your health. You'll choose one of the four Sensei markers, which each have their own unique ability to it. Each time you use your Sensei's ability, you'll move it back one slot, so you can at max use your ability three times during the game. The red Sensei adds plus one damage to the red attack. The green Sensei increases one defense at any time when defending. The blue Sensei adds one damage to a blue attack. And the pink Sensei can heal one health at any time when you are the attacker. You can see that the cards have been shuffled and form a dojo. Over here is the discard pile referred to as the arena. You will begin the game training five ninjas. You do this by drawing five cards from the dojo. You can never have more than five cards in your hand. Cards are never shown to your opponent. As you can see, you have different colors with different numbers. The top number on the left is the possible attack value, and the numbers below it still on the left are your possible defense with this card. When a player attacks with a card and the attack color is red, then the defender will need to defend with a defense card that is red. This is the same for blue. Some cards will show a yellow defense icon, which can be used to defend red or blue damage. If the attacker attacks with blue, and you have no blue or yellow defense, then you cannot defend and you will suffer their full damage. So when attacking, you will see that a lot of the cards have a minimum and maximum value. The damage is decided by rolling the different dice. You have the Shuriken dice, which has values of 1 through 6, and also two sides for each color, orange, green, or purple. The Kunai die has three sides with a value of 1, two sides with a value of 2, and one side with a value of 3. The die also has three sides that are white and three sides that are black. On the top right of each ninja card, it shows which die you will use for your attacks or defense. This symbol means no roll is needed and the result is a fixed value. This icon means that you will roll the shuriken die, which can result in a value from 1 to 6. This icon means that you will roll the shuriken die and the result is either orange, green, or purple. This icon means that you roll the kunai die and the result is either white or black. This icon means that you roll the kunai die and the result is 1, 2, or 3. When rolling the die, you will match the results shown on your die to the value shown on the card. The attacker will roll first, and the defender can decide if they would like to play a card to defend it or not. You will then take the damage that wasn't defended and apply it to the ninja's health by subtracting the strength of the final attack. Note that the defending player can only play one card to try to defend. The player who's attacking can play as many cards one at a time as they would like, and they will choose when they are done. Once they do, the defender will become the attacker, and the attacker will become the defender. The new attacker will be able to train more ninjas and will draw up to five cards from the dojo. The new defender, however, who just attacked, will only use the remaining cards that they didn't use when attacking. You'll go back and forth until one player defeats the other player, and there is a winner of the game. The game is all about training some good ninjas and using them at the best moment. I like how the game plays fast. You are studying your cards and throwing dice and look at the box of the game. It houses everything you need. I enjoy the art on the cards as they did a great job as the art helps the game feel more thematic. If the art wasn't there, the theme would be lost. The dice are also nicely designed with cool throwing knives or ninja stars. The dice also don't have stickers. They aren't screen silked. They are custom engraved dice just for you. And the fact that each die is used for either their number or their color is just a cool, great concept for the game. I really enjoy how the ninja cards have added abilities with the text. You can use their abilities to heal or gain extra cards. The game really is about card management and playing the right card at the right time. And the great thing is if you don't, the game is so quick that you can try to take another stab at your opponent and play again. The game has top-notch components and can be played anywhere, so the next time that you're sitting down at a restaurant and waiting on your food, bring along this game so you can enjoy it. Again, this is Tiny Ninjas from Tooniverse. If you like what you see, then go buy it.